Hello everyone and welcome back to another GTA Online guide where today we're going to be taking a look at the Mule Custom, a truck added as part of the After Hours DLC in GTA Online. So let's get right to it shall we? So for the price of $96,000 on discounted you get your hands on a truck that's very reminiscent of a lot of other trucks that you see being driven around by NPCs and just like the Speedo Custom you're able to modify the Mule Custom with a variety of different options. Mods include armor of varying levels, performance, liveries, and weapons. The available weapon mods include proxy mines like the ones we're already used to, a remote grenade launcher for the front passenger to use, and finally the choice of either a front mounted machine gun or rockets controlled by the driver. So let's do a few essential tests first. The performance of this thing sucks, it's slow as hell and will not get you away in a pinch if you really need it to. The missile launcher carries 30 missiles, the grenade launcher seems to carry an unlimited amount but it's pretty difficult to use anyway so there's not really that much point, and the armour is questionable at best. The windows offer limited protection until they shatter after about 15 shots, and the vehicle cannot take any explosives at all without going pa boom ka -chow. holy crap, oh no, we're gonna die. One cool thing I like about this mule though is the fact that people can stand on top of it and do what they want without falling off at speed, which would probably make this a pretty good vehicle for having onboard juggernauts with miniguns. Overall, for the price of the vehicle, it's okay, but I'd say that this is a budget weaponized vehicle and it certainly acts like one. If you were curious as to if this was worth the money, well now you know. And in any case, I hope you found this short video useful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the Pyram Gaming channel for loads more content coming to you very soon. See you around, folks.